Hi there, I'm Ms. Artastic, and in this episode I'm going to talk about what art lessons to teach in autumn, or fall, if you call it fall, like I do. Autumn or fall, so let's dive in on this episode and let's make some art. like a good gourd yeah a nice gourd um they're so cute every year I'm like I tell myself no Kathleen you're not gonna go buy another bunch of gourds nobody hardly comes to your house because you live out in the middle of nowhere and you're already decorating for like this literally five kids that come to my door I kid you not <laughs> it's, get, it's getting less and less <laughs> so and I'm like okay Maybe we need to scale back the decorations because you know I have it like Christmas, like Christmas lights, but Halloween version outside. And music, everything. I go to town. It takes me weeks and weeks to. I'm like hanging giant spiders off my house, and then I get five kids. But you know what? The thing is, okay, I'm so distracted. The thing is, is one, I love Halloween. And two, I'm like, okay, but if nobody else around here, it takes kids a long time to walk because it's mostly like farms and the other roads around me. That's a long walk for the little guys. And they're all, the kids around here are like five and under. I'm like, this is, imagine how far they, that's a big distance for a little guy. <laughs> they're walking, their feet are, they're probably exhausted going to five houses. Like, and some of the, and none of the house, none of their houses are decorating. It's just me. So I'm like, okay, well, I guess I, that would be the only, this is their, this is their Halloween experience. So anyway, so we're distracted. I tell myself, I'm not going to buy gourds. And then here we are. I buy gourds every single year because they're so weird. <laughs> I just love their weird shapes and their weird colors and their weird textures and they're bumpy and they come in all kinds of different shapes and sizes. And so I love gourds. So my suggestion, number one, is to do some gourd still lights. You can put a couple gourds at each table um, and then turn off the lights or put some individual lighting or just leave the lights on and just stick them on a box so they're a little bit more raised, so a little bit more eye level. You can even put some color, you know, wrap up the box in paper like a Christmas present, but like just put it in like, when you like the school roll papers, just wrap them in like black so it's like a nice neutral background for them or white. That's fine too. Uh, anyways. And then they can do some gourd still lights. And I recommend letting them maybe pick the medium. <sighs> fluff, fluff, flying past. It could be a uh, soft pastel. Or you could do like different versions. Like maybe you do the same gourd and then you can do divide your paper up into thirds or quarters. And you can do like pencil version, uh, charcoal, soft pastel, oil pastel, or oil, soft pastel, and colored pencil or pencil crayon, whatever you want to call it. And you can do, anyways. What I'm saying is do some gourd still lights because I think that is a really great way to change things up. You're practicing your observational skills. You're practicing your um, fine motor skills. You're practicing your um, sketching from life and gesture drawing. You're practicing your creativity and cognitive development. I think that is just fun. It's super thematic and you're going to get some cool art. So do some gourds. It, you can keep the same gourds out. For all your classes, you can do this from K to 12, it doesn't matter. They'll all have fun with it. They'll be like, yay, it's autumn. It's just a nice autumn fall theme. Yeah. It's not super, ha it's not Halloween-y at all. So if, you have, if you guys don't do Halloween, you're not like, you don't have to worry about it being a pumpkin. It's just a gourd and they're cool and they're cute. Yeah, and at the end of them, uh, because gourds last so long, you can just go get some googly eyes and like glue some googly eyes on it and they could be like your autumn mascots. Wouldn't that be super cute? Yeah, and then if you have Thanksgiving, like they're good, and well, Thanksgiving in Canada is like beginning of October, typically, sometimes on my birthday, sometimes not, because it changes. Um, and then, it might even be on my birthday this year. I can't remember if it was last year or if it was this year, my birthday. I don't know, it doesn't matter. It's really irrelevant. Anyway, so then, um, if you have Thanksgiving in November, they could be mascots till November. Yeah, wouldn't that be cool? Anyways, googly eyes, they, they're, they're fun, they're fun. You just put them on anything and something is fun. Like I have a paintbrush, I just took some googly eyes on it, now it's cute. And it was just an ugly paintbrush before, 
Yeah, magic of googly, googly eyes. Okay, number two, moving on. Um, pumpkins and pastels. If you want fun autumn artwork, and this one again could be good till um, good for autumn, even up to think November for Thanksgiving, probably for some people if you live in America. South America, not South America, the continent, but like Southern America, because I'm in Northern North America. Anyways, um, pumpkins and pastels. Um, and I think that'd be cool. So now I could do either pumpkins like from Imaginations or one that you are doing directed draw for, or bring in pumpkins and put them on the tail and tables and do still lights. But you're gonna do them in pastels. Now I don't mean pastel colors, although it could be, and that would be super cute, wouldn't it? Pastel colored pumpkins. Mm. But then you got a package of tints and stuff like that, and mm -hmm, you know. Anyways, um, but I just mean with pastels. So either soft pastels or oil pastels. And this is a good time to use your construction paper, especially the ones that you do have too much of. Like if you have a ton of pink or a ton of red, because I feel like those are the colors I'm always stuck with a ton of. I'm like, why do I have so much red and pink? <laughs> use those! Um, because oil pastels and construction, um, soft pastels cover up everything. So you're not going to see that paper at the end of it, but they work really good on construction paper. Soft pastels on construction paper are like legit magic, legit magic. I love it. I don't care what the color paper is. I just go over top the whole thing with a base color, rub it in, then I'm messy, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, and then I draw on top with my soft pastels and then it looks delicious. Mmm, I want to eat it. Um, anyways, uh, or you could do um, oil pastels and just have fun, pumpkins and pastels. It's easy, you can plan this in 10 seconds. Probably not 10 seconds, but anyways, you get my point. Okay, number three is warm color art. Obviously the best thing about autumn is all those warm colors, apple cider, hot chocolate. Maybe sometimes you can add a little lovely adult, you know, flavor in there. That's good too. Anyways, warm color art. Uh, and have fun doing some seasonal warm color art. You could do warm, warm color anything. Warm color turtles, warm color chinchillas, uh, warm color autumn trees to reflect the seasons, warm color things, you know, squirrels. It doesn't matter. Warm color self portraits in style of Pablo Picasso. Um, and reflecting a warm color scheme because it's autumn or fall. Doesn't matter. Do some warm color art because that is super fun and also good for autumn. All right, number four is yayoi kusama gourds or pumpkins. Um, that is a great way to um, not only explore doing something autumn, but a little bit totally not, you know, typical style of autumn. It's in the theme of gourds or pumpkins, but it's in the style of artist yayoi kusama, so it's going to open up the um, option for you to teach about yayoi kusama as an artist. Um, and then also teach about her style and of course she does a lot of um, repetition and patterns in there so I would talk about that principle of design, you know, principles of design, repetition and pattern inside uh, Yayoi Kusama artwork. Also contrast, her work is highly a lot of contrast so I would talk about principles of, de principles of design, repetition, pattern and contrast. Um, even emphasis might probably come up in there because, you know, it has like a strong focal point. It's very dim from the rest of the, the background, which is very not strong, right? It's, you know, there's a strong focal point, is my point. Anyways, all these things are working towards helping her in creating her designs. So I would talk about that when I'm specifically looking at her gourds or pumpkin artworks, and then you guys can make your own Yayoi Kusama inspired uh, pumpkins or gourds. Now, if you want that art lesson plan fully planned with all your examples, your rubric assessment, reflections, step-by-steps, and le lesson plan all done so you can just be done planning in seconds, you can check out my Yayoi Kusuma uh, art lessons in, from my Teachers Pay Teachers store, Miserastic on TPT, by hitting the links in the description of the video and it will take you to those specific lessons or search Miserastic on TeachersPayTeachers.com and then in my search bar on my store, you can find Yayoi Kusama or hit the artist and our history tab and they'll take you there as well. Or look in the autumn tab as well. Um, but easiest way is to, again, search it or click the links in the description of the video. Um, for additional autumn art resources and tutorials I've made, I also have a ton of different autumn art lessons and resources on my Teachers Pay Teachers store. There's a big link in the very top of the description of the video. It says, autumn art lessons, click here. 
and that will take you to the autumn section of my Teachers Pay Teachers store. Again, Ms. Artastic on TPT. And there you're going to find autumn grid draws, both cartoon style, but like also value black and white photographs for your older um, students. So like I have cartoon grid draws. All of these are my own original artwork, by the way, my photographs, my cartoons, everything you see in my store is not clip art. It's from something that I've drawn or took a photograph of. Um, so the cartoons, obviously, for like grade one, two, three, four, five, grade four, grade one, grade two, grade three, grade four, but the value photos can be middle school, high school. Um, they come with grade skills on there so can, kids can start gauging the different values and then, you know, create some value skill artworks. Um, you can do, I have autumn uh, craft and rights, autumn write and draw, sorry, art and rights, autumn write and draws, autumn directed draws, autumn coloring pages, they're all designed by me. Um, autumn artworks, autumn um, art lesson plans, everything autumn. If you want to check it out, I have art challenge cards, digital autumn, art resources, literally everything autumn. You can find it in the Visartastic Teachers Pay Teacher store. I love autumn and I love pumpkins. It's so wonderful! Um, and you again, you can find that link in the description of the video. My question for you today is what is your favorite autumn activity? Like in general, in life, what is your favorite autumn activity? Is it going to like a corn maze? Is it going to the pumpkin patch? Because that's always fun. I do love a good pumpkin patch. Is it going to um, drink some uh, pumpkin flavored beverages? I don't know what it is. Let me know your favorite autumn activity uh, in the description of the video. In the comments, sorry, of the video, not the description, that's my part. The comments of the video, and I will personally respond. I really love autumn, it's like my favorite season. Next to summer, um, I do like winter too. I do like spring for its reasons. I don't it's hard to pick sometimes. I like all the seasons. Um, we get very distinct seasons here, like winters, um, very snowy, and autumn, lots of trees. I have a lot of deciduous trees and evergreens that change colors. And then in uh, spring, everything's obviously growing. And summer, we have a very short summer, so I better savor it. <laughs> you get two months of sun, and that is it. All right. Um, so. Your next video to watch is how to help your child learn uh, art, technique, art techniques. How to help your child learn art techniques. You can watch that video by clicking the link above or in the description of the video. And I will see you in the next episode. Oh yeah, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. I am trying to get to 10,000, then 100,000 subscribers, and I really need your help. Please, 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 please. I would really appreciate that. The only way my videos are going to get seen on YouTube is through likes and comments and subscriptions. So please help me out. I don't know why it's my dream. It's just, it is my dream. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.